Welcome back to another Cricket24 video. In this one, we are going to be trying to draw a test match. We are chasing about 450 runs on the final day. We have about 80 overs left to play out. This is our current situation. We are chasing 454 runs. This is day 5, 10.37 am. So we basically have 80 overs left. There's no way I'm chasing 454. And that's almost like six runs and over. And on this difficulty, nightmare difficulty, it is impossible. So what we are going to try to do here is just block out these overs. We have another 79 overs and a half left. Whoa, that was a good ball. Look at that pace. Whoa, that was a very close leave. That was a dangerous leave. I thought it was swinging the other way, but this time comes back in. Thankfully, the ball bounces just a little bit more. Shot delivery. Try to leave that. Got the glove, I think. We'll get through and that will be our first run. Why doesn't the game count that as a run? I'm pretty sure it came off the glove. Look at that, off the glove. But nope, we are still sitting at 0 for 0. I did not try to play that shot. I wanted to play a pull to the leg side. I don't know why he played a late cut. He messed that up as well. Got an edge and we lose our first wicket. Well, one good news is we are no longer sitting at 0 for 0. Look at that. Punch down the ground. That was a half volley. He just could not resist. That will be our first run for sure. We are 1 for 1. Almost 5 overs done now. Whoa, we can. Look at that late, late swing and man, that was a dangerous leave. One second, it looks like a cool leave, but another inch and you'd look like an idiot. Full delivery, a little bit of swing as well in the air. They are swinging the ball. That will be another two runs. I don't even know why I'm running. Maybe there's a way we chase 455 in 80 I don't know. Again, swing. They're swinging the ball, that's for sure. Wait, what was that? No, man. Come on, this game. And I've just been cheated out of a wicket. I did absolutely nothing wrong. But I am playing Cricket24, so that is bound to happen. We lose our second wicket. That is not great. Ooh, almost on the crack there. Even though this is a day five wicket, the ball is still swinging. I'm sure it's going to spin as well. Too late. Aristroff is just on the money every single time. Look at that line and length and that swing as well. Late swing. Shot delivery. Try to play that on the back foot. And I just got smacked straight on the helmet. That was probably like a left hook from Mike Tyson. But just on a cricket field. Again, swing this time, some in swing. They are swinging the ball both ways. Ah, this time just goes straight. This time just goes straight. What am I supposed to do? Edged and gone. Yeah, that was just bound to happen. There were just way too many play and misses. And finally, I managed to get close enough to the ball to edge it. And it goes straight to gully. We lose our third wicket. We lost three wickets and 15 overs. We have to bat more than 50 overs. Now I missed a straight ball. They've been swinging the ball both ways and that in-swinger was always looking deadly. Wait, was height an issue there? No, it isn't. Wicket umpire's called. So... Edged, but he doesn't carry. Why am I trying to drive the ball? I have to score 450 runs still. Went for the drive again. He's just tempting me with these nice half volleys outside the off stump and I'm falling for them as well. This time Edge goes in between gully and fourth slip, I think. Again, beautiful length, beautiful swing. Ah, no fault of my own. I just tried to put bat in between the stump and the ball. But it just swung, got the edge and got the wicket. Pakistan are bowling absolutely wonderfully here. I mean, I'm not even trying to score runs and I'm still not managing to stay at the wicket. Oh, that ball pissed on the crack, I think. That ball pissed on the crack and bounced. And that just sprung out. Look at that. On the replay, it doesn't look like it bounced a lot, but 
So something does happen when you pitch the ball on the crack. I think that's the first time that has happened. Uneven bounce. So if there is a crack in front, right in front of the stumps, it would be interesting. But this is too wide to be a threat. Especially with a left-handed bowling. Wow. Come on, man. That ball wasn't even that good. Why am I edging it? I'm timing the ball very well. That was on the pads. Didn't swing either. And somehow I managed to find a way to edge it. We've lost six wickets and we've only batted 20 overs. Well, another half 40. I mean, defending isn't working. At least let me try driving the ball. Oh, short delivery. That's gone. That is gone for four. That, that I mean, it looked like it pitched on the crack, but I don't think so. And now he's going to attack attack me with some short deliveries. They have leg, Kali, short mid wicket, square leg. And look at that, another bouncer. And another one. Well, I am not touching that. Last ball of the over and he ends with another bouncer. I mean, if I try to pull it, I'll most probably get out. We managed to bat through the first session. Still have 60 overs to go. They've introduced spin. That ball spun right out of the rough. Bounce and turn. That was a proper sweep. I think that is what a sweep should look like. There was such an awful ball, I just had to get some bat on it. I think I'll get back for even four, yeah. Four runs. That would have been wide for a right-hander, I think. Oh, come on, man. Why does this game hit me all of a sudden? I didn't even try to play a shot right there. I just left the ball alone. Keeper comes rushing in and starts celebrating. Did that even get any bat on? Look at that. That just got my hand. Not even gloves. That's not out at all. First off, it hit my hand and then it went through my hand and the keeper came rushing in. That's just unfair. Well, I tried to play another pull and I played another late cut. This time it goes right in the gap. Oh, look at that for placement right in between those two fielders. That is some such a level placement. Now I have to do this. Try to take singles of the last ball. Farm the strike. Full delivery goes between the bat, goes between my legs and away from the leg stump. What a delivery. That deserved a wicket. I don't even know how the keeper collected that. And now he's back to bowling absolute beauties. And another one. This ball is 37 overs old and it's still swinging. This time walked across, flicked it. And nope, no need of twos. All I want is a single. Now Shabin's got to face one delivery. Which is not going to be easy. Ah, full delivery easily played. Short delivery. Try to play a pull shot and get a single of the last ball. But now Shami is going to face an entire over against Shaheen Shah. Yeah, this is going to end just great. <laughs> I mean, what was that ball? Wow! How did that miss the middle stump? What a ball that was. And now I'm trying to drive that ball. And the ball is still swinging. 43 overs. Maybe that was seen, but still. Shot delivery pulled. That was not a great ball. And we'll get a boundary after 20 overs, I think. Now he's coming from around the wicket. Whoa, Yorker. Perfect, Yorker. Just shy of the off stump. What was that shot? Why am I trying to pull a full delivery outside the off stump? Whoa. Man, are these guys bowling well. Look at that ball. Again, misses the off stump by an inch. Well, did it even miss it? Oh, have you seen a ball go that close to the stump? That looks like it's touching the stump. And look at that. From every direction, it does look like it's hitting the stumps. But there's literally a whisker away. We still have about 30 overs to bat. That's the end of this session. One session left. We have three wickets left. Full toss try to flick it. 
Doesn't matter, I'll get what I wanted, a single of the last ball. This has been the biggest partnership, 149 deliveries, 33 runs. Runs don't matter, but we've managed to stay there for 25 overs. Now, considering we only have another 25 overs to go, it's not looking that far away. That's been flicked and I might have timed that a little too well. Yes, it goes away for four. I wanted a single, I get four and I'm not happy for sure. Full delivery, oh, that was quick. That was express pace. Aimed for the stumps. That was a perfect ball to a tail ender. But I got managed to get some bat on it. Another late cut. Another late cut that I did not want to play. This time it goes away for four. Once again, try to play that on the leg side. Try to play it fine on the leg side. Oh my god. There goes the... There goes the man who's play, played for 200 balls. And that is once again an unlucky dismissal. Off the pad. It goes right in between his legs and just knocks the off stump. Shaheed Shah gets a well-deserved wicket. No more batsmen left and we still have 15 overs to bat. Oh, that's full. That's straight. That's gone. Another in-swinger. I mean, these in-swingers have been too hard to deal with. Every time the balls come back in, it's been, it's been a challenge. Gone LBW. Now we have just the one wicket. Still 13 overs to bat. Paul Yorker, as, as long as he's bowling those full deliveries, that's fine. Wait, why is he appealing? Is he appealing for obstruction of field? Look at that. He throws it to the stumps and then I'm standing in between the stump and the ball. The ball hits me and he starts appealing. So, does Cricket24 really have obstruction of field? I would be very surprised, but maybe... Wedged and it flies to the point boundary. That was close. That was very, very close. They almost bundled us right there. Finally, some luck. Right in between gully and point. We still have seven overs to go. That shot. Now I'm just kicking balls out. They'll have one over with the new ball as well. We have to face... Oh, another in-swinger. Mm, again, very, very close. Thanks to the bounce. I'm still here. Short delivery left. So they have one over with the new ball. Another eight deliveries to go. We faced 100. Shami's faced exactly 100. Short delivery. Well, the 101st ball was his downfall. A short delivery left that alone. Once again, we've just been very unlucky this innings. It goes off the body. I mean, we just had to face another 7 deliveries to draw this test match. But not to be. Pakistan won by 381 runs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see a similar challenge I played all the way back last year in Cricket 22, click the video on screen. That was actually even more epic than this where I faced 200 deliveries with a batsman and didn't score a single run. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.